Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Lucid. Um, as you follow my channel, I've talked about them uh, quite a few times. Uh, a lot of EVs in general I've covered. Uh, Lucid was up to the $55 range last November, so um, don't think they're going to do that this December, so or November. But as you can see, they're down over 30%, down over 11% in the last three months, 7% in the past month. Still down in the past week, about 4.5%, and here's a look at today, still going down, so uh, that's what she said, but anyway, um, <laughs> like I said, I've covered this one a couple times, uh, ticker LCID, uh, if you don't know much about this one, it's a EV stock, it's a luxury cars, electric vehicles, founded in 2007. 25.68 billion dollar market cap, high today of 15.95, low of 15.32, 52 week high of 57.75, and a low of 13.25. Average volume of 22 million and volume here today of six and a half. Uh, ratings on this one pretty much a buy and a hold. The 43 percent range next earnings expected on November 14th so maybe the stock will run up then uh, who knows but it looks like all EVs are down XPing is up but I'll link my other videos in the uh, description uh, over here on Microsoft Bing currently shown it as a buy with an upside to uh, $25 what's going on with lucid stock today as you can see this was just released the last week on the uh, 15th so shares were trading higher on Thursday Citigroup reinstated coverage of the uh, stock and Needham initiated coverage Citigroup analyst uh, reinstated the lucid as a buy rating uh, so you can list your ratings in the uh, comments if you would uh, buy this one at these prices or if you're waiting for it to go back down or what you think it's going to do um, I've thought about picking up some shares at these uh, low prices, um, but haven't, so I've been putting my money elsewhere and just been kind of watching it. Um, Lucid Air is the epitome of luxury and EV sedans and is attractively priced relative to its competition. However, analysts uh, remains cautious as he sees a slow ramp up in production ahead. Uh, Begri also noticed that profitability is a long way out and the company will likely need additional capital in 2023. So that might be, I don't know, that might be a bad point uh, for the stock as well. So. Um, I don't have much of this one. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of it. It just hasn't. The stock hasn't proved itself um, yet, so I've just been kind of waiting on this one, but it's a long term, just like a lot of the other ones. We analyzed the future direction of a Lucid Group, and here's what they found, and this is just dated uh, yesterday, so it went down 2.70%. Latest closing uh, price compared to the recent one year high of 57.75. Company stock price has collected minus 3.69% of loss in the uh, last five trading sessions. Opinions of the uh, stock are interested at four analysts, nine have provided ratings, overweight, hold, and a sell. You can list your own ratings. Um, I'm saying just, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice, but I would just say hold this one. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, average price from analysts is $24, which is $9.31 above the uh, current price. Lucid uh, currently public float is 1.60 billion. Currently shorts hold 7.47 percent ratio of that float. So they're supposed to be a big competitor for uh, Tesla in the uh, luxury. So we'll see if that happens. Um, this one might not. It might be six months to a year or year and a half before this one actually takes off. Uh, it was hot at one time, and as you can see, it's a. Uh, down the, over half of that. Lucid is looking like a clear EV winner and as you can see this is a dated here on the uh, 20th as well. Lucid is better financial p position than uh, most upstart EV players. The uh, near term headwinds should matter a lot little in the uh, long haul. Lucid noted that it's a liquidity position that will keep it running well into 2023. 
They've gone, has had the uh, share ups and downs, that's for sure, as I already showed you. The luxury EV uh, maker stock has uh, made two trips to the uh, $60 level and only to reverse in its early pre-SPAC days. So I've covered this one quite a few times. It was really hot at one point in time, but as you can see, it's uh, down since then, so... Bigger picture being on the uh, road ahead, uh, EV manufacturers as government carbon emission initiatives uh, shift into high gear in the second half of the decade. Electric powered cars and trucks are expected to play a powerful role. International Energy Agency current uh, global EV outlook highlights a growing list of subsidies and incentives that has uh, consumers uh, gravitating uh, towards EVs in record numbers. So. Um, can't tell me there's some not some insider trading going on somewhere that's I mean I kind of see the initiative but uh, to give last I heard was $7,500 for initiative um, just makes you wonder at the same time the list of EV models available for purchase at dealerships or online has swelled to around 450 compared to less than 100 in 2015, so that's four and a half times, so very interesting. So demand and supply uh, trends are uh, looking favorable. I uh, just did a video on uh, copper, so that will be in the library. I want to check that one out as well. I try to cover copper, lithium, cobalt, uh, any... Um, Picks and shovel plays to uh, EVs is what I try to cover. So the industry is bound to produce uh, multiple winners, uh, not named Tesla or Neo, in the years ahead. Uh, but what has Lucid in the uh, driver's seat to emerge uh, victorious? So we shall wait and see. Uh, not much here on uh, Lucid. Over here on uh, Stock Twits, currently at 1531, low of 1325. So definitely, if it gets back down to that level, I'm going to be buying some more of this one. So probably not a lot, uh, maybe I don't know five or ten shares, and go from there and see what happens with the price. And a high of 5775. So this one just hasn't proved itself to me yet. So I've just been kind of watching it. Back to the bottom, five losers, losers on QQQ. Fed and policymakers, not inflation, are destroying the economy. We have the dumbest people in power of any country on the planet. <laughs> That's an awesome comment. Just to be grateful, if you even above 15 still, market is uh, starting to be realistic. Biden, you must be the worst president since 1776. Welcome to America. Dream under this old man. <laughs> A ah, bunch of interesting, juicy comments today. More cheap shares for the bulls. Win-win. Lucid. That's <laughs> uh, been some of the best ones I've seen in a while. Over here on Emerson Money, currently showing it as a buy with an upside to uh, twenty-four dollars. Uh, that's all that I have on uh, Lucid. If you have Lucid, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information? you'd like to share and if you haven't smashed the like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop again this is Jay Money following Ford Financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers